We are heading to the grocery store and then I'm going to go over to Planet Fitness and cancel my gym membership and save $23.04 a month on that. So that is what I've got going on this morning. I will bring you into the grocery store and see if I can keep to my list or not though. I will talk to you guys in just a second. Hey mama, just the other day, she looked glad to see me again. Do you remember when I used to come over to your house every day? All right, this was my grocery list. I had pumpkin, raspberry, ham, water, bread, and bananas. And you could see from my cart, I will post the video next here. So I got what was on my list and I just got oranges that were extra because I did forget to put them on my list. So that was pretty good. I spent, I think $21 and some odd cents. I did stop at the gym and I did cancel my account. It does not look like they charged me a fee for canceling, so that's awesome. I just checked my email and I got the contract in there. And that will save me $23.04 a month. I did cancel Audible, that will save me $15.77 a month. Plus Scribd is coming off this month, so that will be a total of $48.70, or right around there. I thought that was pretty cool. Last night, Corey and I had like a budget meeting and we decided that these are all of our Smarty Pig accounts that's coming out every other week. So we have needs and wants and we were trying to put together a three to six month emergency fund. So we needed to see exactly what we needed. So we need 115. We only need heat and heat or air and then we need car insurance for sure. These are all like wants, um, the kids anniversaries and um, just all kinds of special things that we actually would like to have, but we don't really need it <laughs> per se. So in an emergency situation, these two things are the, would be the only things we would keep. Everything else would be transferred over to our account. And we figured out all of our monthly bills in there too. So I, of course, don't share our personal home finance with you because my husband doesn't want to do that. So I'm going to respect him and just continue sharing my personal stuff which is the things that I pay for and he does give me a thousand dollars every two weeks to pay my items and I have been canceling and canceling lately so I don't have a whole lot left so my next month's coming up you will see will be a lot less my main focus is are these things here so I have groceries household gas personal eating out beauty miscellaneous dog food and shipping costs so those are the things I will be saving for um next month my desk my desk chair will be gone and, and i'm saving for these extra things toothbrush heads printer ink protein powder and the grandbabies so i will be focusing more on the grandbabies now that i don't have a lot of other things left which is my main goal so in these here's my receipts that i've gotten so far this week this is halfway through the week and these this is what i have so not too much and then my sinking funds I have protein powder here and I have just $10 in there. So just the $10 in that one. I have extra savings, which you saw last, this paycheck, I put away $50 for extra savings here. And that's what I have in there yet. Actually, I think I added something. What was it for? Um, oh yeah, I added $6 because I had to, what did I have to do? Oh, we had eating out money and I I didn't have my cash envelope, so I had to put it on my debit card. So I just transferred that $6 to this and that will be going in the bank on the next, it will be count, counted as incoming income on February 21st payday. So now I have $56 in that one, which will all be going into the bank as long as I don't have to use it for any weird thing. Like if I have to use, if a charge comes through for canceling my gym membership early, I'll take it out of here. I don't want to, but I will have to. And then toothbrush heads, I should have $4 in here, I believe. Uh, yes, $4. So that's $4 in there yet. This is going to be transferred to Smarty Pig because something else I did, guys... I went ahead and if you can see, I'm going to put you up here closer. Right here I have two Smarty Pigs that are coming out, one for 18, one for 20. 
This is for my camera and this is for my lights that I wanted. I decided to close these two out and I have to keep one open to keep my account good. So I did put my toothbrush heads in there for $2 every paycheck. So you'll be seeing this change up next month or next paycheck. I canceled these out. These are going to be closed out and transferred to my checking account because I have decided that I want to pay off my credit cards more than I want my phone and my lights right now. So I'm going to transfer both of these over and then make that payment on the Kohl's card next week. And then I think that, oh, and then I, yes, like I said, I canceled Audible. I'm still thinking about the YouTube premium. I really do love that because I don't have to watch the commercials and you guys get paid for everything and I don't have to skip them. And you guys get paid for, you guys get paid when I watch your videos like I watch the entire commercial. Though so that's one reason I would really like to keep that to help me out for not having to watch the commercials and to help you out so you guys get paid when I watch your video. And also you can download videos before you go on a trip and you can watch them in the car for no charge. So I really love that aspect of it. Although we don't plan on going anywhere until we have all of our debt paid off. Everything except for the mortgage. And then we have printer ink in here. And I think I need to have $2 in here because this is a new one. Yep, just $2. This one I will keep here. And then the grandbabies just have, I think, the $1 in there yet. <laughs> but I will add more to theirs. Yeah, they just have $1. So next week I'll be able to add more to their envelope. Because they're going to be coming and staying with me the full month of June. And I would like to have some fun money to take them places when they get here. So that's my envelope update. Let me show you what I have in my wallet left over. So we have um, my coupon envelope here. And then we have all of my other envelopes. So because I just went shopping today, I will have a little bit. This will be a little off. And I think I put my receipt. Where did I put my receipt? Oh, I know where I put my receipt. So this is my receipt. I spent $21.57. This is the items that I got. So everything I had on my list. And then I did add the oranges. So now in my envelope for groceries, I should have... I'm going to take that off of there here. 168 Wait, 31 minus 20, 157. So this goes down to um, 2157 here. And then this total, this new total comes to 146.74. And this is, what day is it today? the 14th. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Holy cow. Corey and I don't do anything for Valentine's Day. We don't see the need to spend the money, honestly, and we're okay. We're both okay with that. So that works out just fine for both of us. And the same thing with like Easter and all of the holidays. Um, we have, since the kids live, my oldest son lives in Texas with his family and we hardly ever get to see them. So we have something that we call Big Toy Day. And that is just one celebration for all of the holidays put together, including anniversaries. And we just have one big thing and I give the kids, kids a lots of gifts and it's a lot of fun and I make a big dinner and we just have it in one day. And it's so much cheaper that way and we don't decorate or any of that stuff. So I just don't see the need in all of that because it is so expensive. It's so expensive to buy the decorations and all of that. And I just, I don't see the need in it. And both Corey and I are in agreement on that which works out perfectly. So we're going to put this on grocery, oops, grocery money. Okay. So that is updated now. So I should have 146. Okay. So I have 145 in here because I have been taking out a lot of change. So all the change that's in that little box in my drawer, the chain, the rest of that will be in there, which is okay. Cause I know I have, you know, I, I'll be able to if I need the extra dollar something, I will be able to get it out of the change envelope if I need it. So that is 100 there, 20, 30, 40, 2, 43, 44, 45. And like I said, the rest of it is in change. I'm going to put that back in my grocery money. 
So that is all correct now. Miscellaneous. Let's see what I have in here. I don't know what I spent out of this one. Oh yeah. So I had to ship. Oh, I sold my first set of envelopes, guys. And I was so excited about it. And I sent her a nice little thank you gift for being my first customer. That was awesome. So thank you. And then I had to ship the envelopes. Um, now this is... I took out $4. It was actually three something. It was more than I expected because of the fact that I stuck some extra stuff in the envelope. But that's okay. And then we have left $21, which is exactly what I have here. So that comes out of miscellaneous. And I will explain to you why it didn't come out of shipping when I get to the shipping envelope. Okay, and then pet food. I did not have to buy pet food yet. We bought it, opened the bag up on 126, and we get a 40 or 50 pound bag. I can't remember, but we have three pets that are fed with that. So we should we should be needing it very soon. So I should have 47 in there, which I do. So I will have to go, the bag is 46 something. So that will be just right for that one. And then I'm trying to hold off as long as I can with this. And then when I do, I'll have the next two weeks to save up, so I'll only have to save up half of that since I actually remembered it this week. Okay, personal money, I had to, okay, I purchased this chair. The chair was actually 64, I thought it was 50, but it was 64, so I didn't wanna wait to order it. So I just took 15 out of my personal money. I usually have 25 in here, so I have 10 left in my personal money. So that works for me, I have one week left and I really don't need anything else. Beauty. I am holding off on getting my hair done, guys. So, oh, I don't want to spend this money. I really, really don't. So I have, usually I have 40 in here, but I rolled over 70 from last week. And I have a total of 110 now. And that's exactly what I have in there. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, and 10. This is for my hair color and Nick's haircut. I will probably get his haircut right away. I should probably make my appointment too. I mean, really, I really should. Household money, I'm just trying to save up as much as I can to get the credit card paid off. I want it paid off so bad. Household, let's see what I spent on there. Okay, I had, okay. So this is where I'm gonna show you about the, okay, so every month the Budget Mom has a, uh, a monthly challenge and this month is saving $25 every week. So last week was 2.8 is when I pulled out from the household money for $25, which is this one. So that's where this comes in. So I took out 25 out of my household money and you're only supposed to take it out of your cash envelopes. So that's why I did it that way. And I'm hoping that with the rest of this, and then I did need some Q-tips, so I put those on there. And I have $21 left in household. So I'm hoping that will be enough for the rest of the week. It should be though. Oops. Oh, that doesn't go in there. So what I have in here then so far, is $40 and I need 50. So today I'm going to take out money out of my personal money. So I have $10 left in my personal money. And like I said, I should not need any more out of personal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in household before I get these mixed up. I'm going to put that back in household. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take, this is my personal money here. So on my personal card, I'm going to put negative $10. And then my new balance is zero in here. So this is going to be 214. And I'm going to put add to monthly challenge envelope. So that's where that $10 is going to go. So I'm going to take that out, put this back in my personal. So I don't want to lose anything. So I'm just going to do this right away. So personal has nothing left in it. And then I'm going to take this envelope and I'm going to do 214 and then I'm going to put from personal 
and I'm going to put plus 10 and that will make it $50. I can't see my line here. I guess I'm going to go down here. So I have now a total of $50 in here. My goal is saving $100. So I'm halfway there and I'm halfway through the month. So that works out perfectly. So I'm going to put that back in my drawer and I'm going to save that. Now we'll go on to, I had beauty and household, eating out. Let's see what we got going on in eating out. So I have $10 left in here. Okay, so I moved this to extra savings because why? Let's look at my extra savings and then we'll know why. So here's my extra savings envelope. So the $6 was from, so I have a note here. I used the debit card for Subway because I forgot my cash envelope. So I had a small sub, five something, but I just put a total of $6 in here. So that's what that is for. And now I have 907 technically, but I just put the, I put a 10 in here because I didn't want to mess with the change. So that is the eating out money. And I'm hoping that this will be one that I roll over into the next month. I'm going to put that back in there and gas money. Let's see what we're doing, how we're doing for gas. Okay, gas. I got paid on the 7th. So February 7th, I filled up my my car for $35.31 and I have $14.69 left. So there should be $14 in here. And there's the $14. The rest of the change is in my change envelope. I should be fine because I have a half a tank left, which is perfect. Shipping. And I have nothing in shipping because, and I can't, I don't know what I did with my little thing. I must have put it somewhere. But anyway, shipping I took out for my... for my February challenge. So I took out $15 out of shipping because I didn't expect to have shipping this week for this payday, but I did, and that's okay. I just took it out of miscellaneous, but that is where that 15 came from. So that will go in there. And technically I am saving this stuff to go on my credit card. So it's not bothering me to move it from here to here because I know that's gonna be paid on my credit card. And that's all my envelopes. So that is it. That is where I'm at right now. Let me show you. So my notes that I wanted to kind of tell you is right down here. I've been watching Dave Ramsey. That man is so funny, but he tells it like it is. And I love that about him. The only thing we don't agree, usually we follow budget mom. The only thing we don't agree with Dave Ramsey on is the credit card issues. I think that you really need your credit score. If you're ever going to buy a house or anything like that, you really need a credit score and you need a good one. So that's why we are keeping our credit cards after we pay them off. As we get older and we get, we're probably going to buy one more house before we retire. And as we do that and we get settled in and we know we're not going to move anymore, we will probably get rid of all of our credit cards and cancel them except for one. Plus we do want to get some airline miles and stuff to be able to go see the babies whenever I want to because I'm not going to always have grandma around my mother-in-law to use her airline miles so I need to start saving up for my own this is what I learned from Dave Ramsey so he says if you save out a hundred dollars a month from the time you're 25 to the time you're 65 you will be a millionaire you're putting it in your 401k and then you will have a million dollars to retire on by the time you're 65 now that for retirement, that really isn't enough to retire on, but that's just an that's just an extra one hundred dollars a month, and then you're gonna probably be putting your you're probably gonna be putting like uh fifteen percent in. If that's a good amount to put in your retirement, and then your boss usually matches a portion of that, so that will be extra on top of that. So that I mean that that was amazing. I wish I'd have known that when I was twenty five. Okay, I know Corey's been putting away quite a bit since he's been 24. So I think we're going to be okay. If you're willing to work hard at your budget, a standard amount of debt should be able to be paid off between 18 and 24 months. If you're willing to cancel things and not go out to eat and do all of these things and sell stuff, sell stuff you don't need, you should be able to be out of debt in 18 to 24 months. And for us, that was true. We're going to be out of debt we're going to be out of credit card debt by December of this year. I think maybe even October of this year. 
I will let you know though. You'll if you continue following me, I'll let you know. And like I said, Corey has four other credit cards that he's paying on. I have three of my own that I'm paying on. And we should be out of debt totally on all of those by October of this year. We should be totally out of debt by, I think it was September of next year, of 2022. And that falls right within that area. And we decided to... I really, really want a new kitchen. I really need to remodel. I'm having some coffee. It's so good. We really want to remodel our kitchen. And Corey had said we could get a home equity loan next year. And then as we were talking about it last night, we kind of decided that we'll wait. I don't want to, but I think it's the smartest thing we can do. Start putting cash away and pay for it in cash. It's hard on me. I know it's it's like super hard because I really want a new kitchen. But I can live. I'll live an extra. It's just one more year. I'll live. I did cancel my bookish t-shirt box. I think I told you guys last week. Um, let's see. I am closing my Smarty Pigs. I, I told you that. There's two of them. And I'm going to put that all towards the credit cards now. Start sinking fun for hot sauce. Okay. I have this hot sauce, guys. It's a luxury hot sauce. Let me show it to you. Watch my weight loss videos. You've seen this before. But this stuff. That's what I'm saving for here because this is one of the things we are not going to give up. I love this stuff on my breakfast burritos. I love it so much. And three of these bottles ends up being $40.55. But it's mainly because of the shipping cost. The shipping is outrageous. That's why we get three bottles right away because it does save on shipping. And I am going to just save out for it because I love it so much. And that's going to come out of my stuff. So it ends up being 45 cents per serving if you stick to a serving size. <laughs> we figured all of that stuff out. I am going to, or I did cancel Scribd and I did cancel the gym. So those two are both done now. I just wanted to put a note there. And I, oh, and then I got a surprise bill. Thankfully, I watch my checking account and I check it every morning because I would have missed this totally. I totally would have missed this coming through. Apparently when I, I did a, I was offered a free stitch a stitch fix box and so I I did that I signed up for it but then I must have just put it on hold or something instead of canceling it I thought I canceled it but I did not cancel it apparently so they charged me 20 bucks for this and I found I saw it right away before they shipped it so I was able to cancel this and they were really nice about it I was so thankful about that and they canceled it and reimbursed me 20 bucks and I did get it this morning and back in my checking account. I mean, I would have had enough to pay for it because I do put away $30 every payday for a, a cushion. So I would have had enough to pay for it here, but I don't want to be that close to zero in my checking account. I wanted to show you guys an update on where I was with my things here. But, oh, hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Okay, so we have checking here. And these are highlights and what each of these means. So this, the red is my bills, gray is Amazon, purple is extras or business. Cause I had, yeah, I had, um, oh, I have this business one. Okay. So the per dark purple is extras and then orange is deposits. So this is what I got going on. I've got mainly bills coming out. Amazon, I only have one item. Can you believe it? And it was for 565 and that was just for my laminating stuff which I needed for my envelope. So I just put a blue dot here, which means that this is either deductible, tax deductible, or a business expense of some sort or deposit. So that is what the blue means, the blue dot means. And then I have my cash spending over here. This is all the stuff I spent in cash. So this is cash into my cash envelopes and all of that stuff. That's why I put that there. This money is going out to checking back into checking so that's why i put it over here in withdrawals and then my total amount i got to finish adding these because these are new ones that i just added this morning i was kind of behind on that and this is where the new payday starts so i do month like the first through the 31st i will have to do another page on this because i have another week left so i'll have to do this page here and this is where the new payday starts. So that will be helpful. So that is my cash spending. And as you can see, I'm doing not too bad at Starbucks. I started out kind of bad. I have one, two, 
three here, but then nothing. Nothing. And I didn't get Starbucks today either. I'm doing good with that. I'm trying to really do a lot better on what I drink at Star or what I get at Starbucks because Starbucks was very high last time. It was $36.89 total for the two for uh two weeks. And these are the other totals from last time. And now, and this was the totals from last time. So fruit was our highest. And I'm also doing better on the junk food cracker category. So that should be a lot better too. And soda. I haven't been buying too much of these things lately. And we're going to try to keep all of this. I, I've got the new breakdown started and I will show you. And I'm also going to start putting how many days, how often I go into town. So I got that started and I will update that next Friday and I'll share that with you. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, I made up some of these things for my credit cards. And as I pay these off, I'm going to be highlighting these. I'll probably show you an update on these once a month or maybe every paycheck. I'll probably do every paycheck. So I'll show you this next Friday. I'll be updating anything I can on these after I get my um, statement in. So I've got Fleet Farm, Kohl's, and then I have Alta. And then we are doing a starter emergency fund for this started January 2020. And we're going to be saving up $1,000. And this is for our family fund, but I'll still share this with you and let you know how we're doing on that. So at the beginning of each month, this is what I've been doing. So this is February 2020. And each day I'm going to mark on here what I spend for that day. And then on my calendar, on my monthly calendar in February, I put whether I went to town or not, or whether I, or not I had a no spend. So I went to town all of these days. These days I did not. This, these days I did not either, but I had, and I also had a no spend on those two days. And then I will continue on as I go, because I really want to keep track of how many times I'm going into town and how much gas that is. So I'm really going into detail on some of this stuff. And then today or yesterday I had a no spend and we, did we go into town yesterday? No. Okay. So I just updated that. We did not go into town or spend anything yesterday. And today we went into town and I got groceries and stuff. So this is what I've been spending every day. I put the total amount that I spend every day and I'm going to figure out what I spend for the entire month of February. Last thing I wanted to show you guys, we are using our little fridge from downstairs because guess what? After we started doing better on our budget, our fridge broke down. So we are using this tiny little college fridge for now. I don't think we should get a new fridge until we redo the kitchen. So this is what we're going to be putting up with. We do have a big fridge downstairs, so that means I will be getting lots of exercise. That is my update for this week. Make sure you watch for next Friday. I already started my budget for next week. So this is a kind of a sneak peek on that. And some of these things are going to be changing because I did cancel some stuff. So this is next week and I'll be going through all that with you guys later on. That is all I have for you today, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down below. And I hope it was very helpful. So I will see you guys next Friday for another budget video. I will be doing the whole budget information for the paycheck of February 21st. We will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.